Anyways, I'll give the floor to Death Razor to tell his testimony about how God's moved in his life and a little bit about himself, too. Alrighty. So, to start this off, I just want to give a little detail about myself. So, obviously, I used to be Death Razor YT. I officially changed names to Death Razor TV for diversity. So, that's one thing. Uh, I'm currently age 19 and from the Midwest. I know, a little personal, but whatever. And I love doing tech things. I like, you know, having a place to worship. And a place to worship like this is actually quite a blessing because it's like sometimes you can't make it to real church. And that's the case for me because I work on Sundays and by the time real church happens, I'm on my way from there out or I'm still there. So that's why I see this place as a blessing to both me and to uh, my time. So. The way this starts, I'll start the testimony now, um, it starts from the beginning, from when I was young. So when I was born, my family, my mom's side anyway, were very religious in terms of spirits, and they would all go to church pretty much every day, including myself. Then a couple years later, around early 2013, I think it was, we all decided to move some places and, well, my dad's side anyway, and where I was with my parents, and we all moved, and we kind of stopped that, and I lost that little spark to go. So then I didn't have much connection there for a while, and then I came into rec room, you know, just hanging out, meeting some people, trying it out, and then I saw a place like this after New Reality, when I was, of course, banned from rec room for three weeks, and, you know, saw this in VR chat and I was like, what an interesting place because they're connecting me back to that spark I lost months and years ago. Another thing that can connect me to my family and the God spirit is whenever my family's in a dire situation, such as, for example, when my grandma Janet was in the hospital recently, um, she was in there and had some issues and through God's prayers and beliefs, she's powered through it and she's getting better over time. And that's one thing is that God can keep your connection to, no matter how long you leave or how long you skip church or something like that. So that's another thing I think that keeps us all connected spiritually and mentally. And then technology like this for the future of it really embraces both the people who take the talent and use it, and the people who actually care to harness it and worship in a way that is new and unique. And I am so glad for what these guys are doing here because they're doing such a great thing. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Joris just said something about Alina. So, uh, yeah. Um, let me see. Where was I? Um, let's think back here. Um, the only other thing I can say related to the testimony here is that it's such a blessing to see all these young people taking the time and, you know, the needs of many and connecting through many different social platforms and virtual connection systems, such as Discord, Final Fantasy, Rec Room, VR Chat, and even some VR games. And now I ain't a VR player myself, but I can tell you, if I had a VR, I would definitely get one. So... Other than that, that's all I can really share for this testimony. So thank you all for your time, and bless you all through your Sunday. <laughs>